Guten Tag, Mr. Me, wie geht's? Sehr gut, ich bin Dieter. Yes, you may look pretty in pink, but are you suffering from unwanted guitar hum? Yeah, pretty in pink. Uh, looks like she's got a bit of an attitude there. Could she be mad because? Could she be mad because her guitar is giving her unwanted hum? Well, let's investigate with Dita, shall we? Let's find out. Let's find out. See, see the difference? <laughs> or hear the difference, I mean. So, let's find out if we can solve her pink guitar hum problem. Well, you need a Faraday cage. Well, what's a Faraday, Faraday cage, Dita? Uh, Dita's done this to two of his guitars, so he will show you what it is, a Faraday cage. So we'll take Sandra Bullock. Yes, if you know, sometimes Dita, Dita uh, when he was younger, he had, um, he decided, you know, um, you know, you usually call ships, you give them female, female names. So I've, at one point in my mid thirties, I, um, I just signed my guitars. I, I called this one Sandra Bullock. I called another one something like, I don't know, Mae West or whatever. I usually picked actresses' names. And just, uh, it was just a, a thing I did. So anyway, what's a Faraday cage? Well, this is a Faraday cage. You see, I, I lined this. Now, this go down was sprayed with uh, conductive metallic paint, so I really didn't have to do this. But I found when I was playing Sandra Bullock on stage, uh, cranked it up really loud at, at one time I did that, there was a little bit of hum. So that uh, conductive paint is good, but it's not the best. The best thing is this, you get thin copper foil, it's quite expensive. I don't know where you so it can get it from guitar places, it's very thin. And you line all the cavities, it's quite hard to do, uh, but you line all the cavities with, uh, I took out the screws and put in magnets. So you line all the cavities with copper foil and that's why, and I've demonstrated this guitar, that guitar never hummed much, very, very little, and only at really high volumes, but it doesn't hum at all now. And I won't play that way, but I'm gonna show you on my, this was one of my cheapest, less, I mean, it's not a cheap guitar, least expensive electrics, and it had hum. And um, I noticed that, um, I don't think, because the, 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 the paint, is shiny. So I don't think Godin at the time uh, sprayed this model, which is called a Session. And this one is a 2012, so it's 12 years old. Uh, so it had, it had hum and it was bugging me. So what I did with this, I'm not gonna take it apart, but you can see um, I, 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 I took the pickups up, I took everything apart, except uh, for the trim cage here. And I lined it with copper foil. You can see the copper foil here and the pickups. I'm not gonna take it apart for you. Just trust me, I, I don't lie about shit like this. I did now. You're gonna hear this guitar has zero hum. So here is my. It's plugged into my champ. get the guitar close but that's you always get that but uh, there's virtually no hum and now uh, the, the the one guitar that Dita was the least satisfied with now he is completely satisfied with so if you've got that uh, issue um, it's, it takes some time, takes some skill. Uh, don't take it to a tech, because a tech won't do that for you. He'll charge you an insane amount. Get the copper foil. Uh, it's quite pricey, but it uh, could be. I think I bought a big roll. I wish I could remember where I got it, but I can't. 
so sorry about that. You'll have to do some heavy lifting yourself. And uh, take, your, take everything off. Take everything off that you can. Um, don't unsolder un anything. And get this foil and line all the cavities. And you will find, if you make a good Faraday cage, and you can uh, do some research on Faraday cages, that you can probably turn, um, maybe you have an inexpensive guitar. Like they, uh, in an inexpensive, I don't, I don't like calling them cheap guitars if they're well made. Uh, in an inexpensive guitar, you'll have usually lower quality woods and stuff, but that doesn't matter if the neck's good and stuff like that, and you'll have lower quality tuners and pickups and stuff. But you find if you do a little bit of stuff, like get some good copper foil, if you have good pickups, uh, change the pickups, you can make, because I, I did it with this. At the time, this was a, <clears throat> I think a $600 $100 guitar. And it plays just as well and sounds just as good as, as, and I'm being honest about this, as my guitars that cost two, three times as much. So I think you could have a, a decent, like a decent, three to five hundred dollar guitar and if you maybe put in new pickups what two hundred bucks and the copper foil i'm guessing fifty bucks so for two hundred and fifty bucks you can make that three hundred or five hundred dollar guitar um, and uh, you know for a couple hundred bucks maybe you can uh, get a happy a happy accident which was no accident like Dieter did and get something that's really really good for uh, for way less money. Like if you like everything about the guitar, but the pickups, change the pickups. You don't have to go out and spend uh, another two grand on another guitar, right? And uh, with, the, with the less expensive guitars, it's fun. That's how I got into all this stuff. I, I took my less expensive guitars that I wasn't happy with and I said, well, okay, I don't have three grand to go out and buy a guitar. Well, maybe I did at the time, but I said, I, this guitar only cost me 500 bucks. So I'm going to see if I put just a couple hundred dollars into it, if I can get something that's amazing. And yeah, that uh, people that have played my session, which was, I think they're more now, but they, they probably have better pickups in them now and stuff. But um, they, if I told them it was two grand, they'd believe me. Yeah, so... Just saying. I mean, I like to experiment and, uh, myself, so. But yeah, it, make a Faraday cage. Um, if you don't want to go the route of the copper foil, which works the best, get the electroconductive paint, and that'll, that'll really improve it, too. Okay? Happy plucking.